Yo, what is going on guys? It is Friday, September 25th. So last week I brought to you the ASUS Stuff 3080. Now we're going to test the 24 gigabyte 3090. So looking at the cooler, it looks uh, pretty much identical. Still all aluminum fans around. And the, the top has still the two PCI Express power connectors. And then this area here does light up with a little bit of RGB. I'm going to try to customize it this time on the 3090 to make it uh, blue to match with the rest of my rig. And then moving on to the back plate, pretty much identical. So I'm not sure if this cooler is any larger, but uh, I guess, uh, you know, we'll find out uh, once uh, some more reviews come out. Because I don't see any reviews at all online currently as of Friday, September 25th. So I'm going to get this installed in my Asus Z490 Ace motherboard with i9 10900K processor and 30 gigabytes of G-Skill Royal Z memory. And then I'm going to do benchmarks uh, with overclock, and I'm going to run those gaming tests that I ran with 3080, and we'll see how everything goes. So thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more stuff uh, tonight, Saturday, and maybe even Sunday. So uh, we'll get this started, and then we'll get some videos up, and be patient as I upload, and uh, we'll see how everything goes. See you guys soon. Peace out. Yo, what's going on guys? So I got the card installed, so as you can see, there it is running, the 3090. And I did try to customize the RGB lighting here with Aurora Sync, and for some reason it wasn't working, so I guess we'll have to figure that out another time. So anyways, I'm going to do my first overclock uh, benchmark test. I added 80 megahertz to the core, and I added 585 megahertz to the memory, and I raised the power limit to its highest point, which is 107%, and that puts me at uh, 1475 GPU clock. 1775 boost and megahertz uh, for the memory uh, 1292 so i'm going to give her a run and uh, hopefully she runs okay and i'm going to briefly show a video of time spy running to show you the temperatures and uh fan noise so stay tuned i loaded up time spy so here's the stats of the gpu temperatures and clock speeds and i got the gpu set at a uh, performance mode and here's how the fan sounds so far under load pretty quiet overall can't hear it So I'm going to let this run, and then uh, we'll see how the scores end up being at the end of the run. So stay tuned. Again, those are the temperatures. Still under uh, 60C. Boosting fairly nicely. So here's the score time supply with the 3090. So I got a score of 19,842, a nice graphic score of 21,081. And that was with the GPU core uh, overclocked at 8 megahertz and memory uh, somewhere close to 600 megahertz, I think. And uh, under uh, load, it only hit 63C with this overclock on the performance mode BIOS. And the CPU is overclocked to uh, 5.3 gigahertz. As you can see, it's fluctuating because it's an idle right now. So yeah, that's the score. So I'm going to do Time Spy next, and then uh, I'll wrap this up. And then the feature videos will be uh, gaming tests and uh, other uh, tests that uh, any of you guys request. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you all time or, uh, uh, Port Royal does next. Port Royal running now, and... Uh, it's been under load for a while. GPU is still very quiet. And uh, here's what's going on with the stats. So the GPU is sitting at 61C, boosting up to 1965 MHz. And uh, it usually tops out at 63C under benchmark load. So this benchmark does run for a while and it doesn't stop. So I'm going to assume that the load temperature is overclocked. It's only 63C. I'm going to assume it may get to 65, which is what 3080 went up to. But uh, overall, very, very satisfied. It's uh, absolutely dead silent. I have the fan set at auto. And as you can see, it's only getting 66% and uh, temperature of 63C. So uh, as this benchmark concludes, I'll show the scores. But I'm very impressed. Very quiet and very good toes on the tears considering this is the 3090, which uses even more power. So it looks like it briefly hit 64C. So I'm going to assume that it may top out at 65C. But very impressive. The score 13,754 graphics score range per second, and again, the GP overclocked uh, 80 megahertz core, and uh, I think it was 592 on the memory, maybe 595, and then the CPU i9 10900k 5.3 gigahertz. So, yeah, that's just my brief little mini review because I haven't seen any on the tough model, but I'm going to be doing gaming tests tonight and uh, a lot of other. Uh, 
test to see how this thing performs both under load and overclocked and uh yeah so i don't do stock runs because i mean the way i see it is everyone's going to overclock and they want to see overclock performance when you run stock it's always going to be pretty much uh, close in numbers but uh yeah very satisfied so th stay tuned for future videos and if you like what you're seeing feel free to subscribe so thanks again and uh i'll see you guys around and stay tuned for more uh 30 90 videos and there's all the stats on the uh GP almost one gigabytes per second uh, bandwidth, so amazing. So I'm sorry, 100 gigabytes per second. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys around. One last thing I wanted to do was compare it to the 3080 score. So this is the 3080 tough at uh, this kind of overclock with also the CPU 500 gigahertz. It got 11,063, and then the 3090 got 13,754. And then going on to Tide Spy, now this was with the 3080, 17,805, and then the 3090, 19,842. So that's a comparison. Thanks for watching.